Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vimal Singh and today in this particular video we will see how we can do investigation on DLP findings or you can say DLP alerts. So, so far we have already seen that how we can create these policies, I mean DLP policies for endpoints and the data. But now in this particular video we'll see how we can do investigation on it. So, let's get started. First, we will explore the technical understanding and then we'll go towards a demonstration. Let's understand why the investigation of DLP alerts is important and what are the points that we need to keep in our mind. It is really important for the security guy. Just finding the information won't be enough. We have to fine tune it. We have to do investigation for the better findings. So here, first thing we need to understand the triage. It's very important. So triage basically is the decision making a step where uh, we verify the alerts if it is a valid threat then we set its priority and assign it to the owner and if it is false positive then we can focus on the real risk instead of that we can just uh, um, you can say ignore it or you can supersede it so it depends on the requirement try is we can first go and analyze the alerts and logs whatever has been detected then we are going to classify either it's a true positive or the false positive and if we find anything true positive and important it has severity high we can assign as per the severity to the owners or soft team that they can uh, identify and do further investigation and unblock the user if false positive if any alert got detected which is not required and it's not impacting in that case, uh, do not block the user, unblock the user and let him to continue the, his job. Incident grouping in Defender. So Defender basically intelligently connects a related alert into one incident. For example, multiple suspicious activity by the same user got grouped. So you can quickly see the bigger picture and priorities. So as for the security professional, you must be familiar with the difference between alert and incident. So when we come to Defender, Defender has a smart capability to correlate all the alerts and make an incident. So it groups all the alerts and finds the intention of the attackers and accordingly they generate the incident. So we will have clear visibility what exactly they are trying to do. For example, one drive upload from all external users uh, for all external users and being shared. So it will identify the nature and all the correlated alerts and let you know. So that helps you a lot to be focused on a particular task. Uh, if I talk about the tools that we can use in a triage, so Defender Portal provides a structure for investigation. You can filter it by service source and uh, you can highlight uh, only the DLP alerts. So that gives you a better visibility. Uh, we can also filter for the DLP specific alerts. For example, I'm looking only for the OneDrive related or maybe SharePoint related. We can also do the service sources, data loss prevention, and we can also sort it as per the insider risk. So it will show you only the insider, those who are making, uh, you can say, exfiltration or doing some insensitive work. Uh, that's a really important point nowadays because AI is everywhere. So we can also consider integrating this AI. We have security copilot that can be integrated with, with this Microsoft Poo even for the Defender. And as you know, while doing manual investigation, it takes a lot of time to go here and there and then relate all these things. And there would be possibility of human errors. But when you integrate such tools like Microsoft Security Copilot, that will help you a lot while doing your trials. So AI agent for DLP alert trials we have that will help you to do uh, help you in investigation, and it also automates classification and prioritization. So it will speed up your trials by analyzing alert patterns and providing insight, and this allow faster and more accurate prioritization. If I talk about the goals, like investigation dives deep into understanding why the alert occurred, who was impacted, and what data was involved. And this step informs you uh, to respond it in well. While doing the investigation, you must correlate the evidences, determine cause and impact, build remediation plan, that's very important, and share alerts with the other teams just to have discussion and have clear visibility and understanding 
how and what happened at this place. Now, if I talk about the investigation tools, so we have many tools through which we can do the investigation. As you can see, some of them are listing at this place and more. Uh, this is what we are using uh, while doing the investigation related to the data. So Microsoft Defender for Portal, Defender Portal we have that gives you the complete alert and incident view and you can easily start investigation from there. We do have this uh, possibility from the directly Microsoft Poview dashboard where we can have the compliance focuses and we can start investigation. Activity Explorer also gives you the visibility of user actions and we have Content Explorer that gives you the document level insights. So using this tool together, uh, we will have the better investigation. Now, if I talk about investigation capabilities, so Defender offers the powerful investigation features. You can hunt logs, tag incidents, and make immediate actions like isolating devices without leaving the portal. So Defender portal is a really nice tool, I would say, in my experience while doing the investigation of any kind of findings. We also have in-place admin action on the user file devices, incident filters, policy service tag status, and user activity that summary you will get for the insider risk users. While doing the remediation and before doing the remediation, we on, need to understand what exactly it is. So it depends on the severity or you can say the alert severity. For some cases, monitoring or user education is going to be enough. But some critical alerts, immediate need security actions, and uh, you can say investigation. So you must identify those, what exactly these alerts are, what exactly these findings are, on the basis of that you can plan your actions. Like monitor only, if you have a low risk key, train the user that do not perform or do such, such things, or you can remove unshare files, but if you have something which is serious and severity is high, you can reset the password, disable their accounts, you can quarantine the files or isolate the device. So such actions you can perform while doing your remediations. Defender remediation feature. So Defender basically integrates the remediation directly into the investigation. And this reduces the response time and ensures consistent action across the incidents. So we can apply the sensitivity levels, move, delete emails, download investigation packs, run AV scans, and adopt protection to assign user risk levels. Now, to tune the policies, basically it's essential part, and that helps you to reduce the noise and maintain effectiveness. So regularly doing adjustment will ensure your policy match real business needs. So do the adjustment, find and uh, scope, and their conditions to plan their right actions and notification, update regularly as data and business evolves, and document in policy incident statements. Now, tuning the resource, Microsoft resources help you to map business requirements to effective policies, and testing and tuning is ongoing cycle. It's not just one-time job. So always design a DLP policy guide, test your DLP policy articles, and then continue uh, you can say iteration, improve detection accuracy. So as I said, it's a continuous process. So keep working on these points always. And finally, if I talk about the tools that we can use to do that, as we discuss, Microsoft provides a rich set of tools like Defender uh, in the central hub, who we focus on data visibility, while um, DSPM gives you the broad security posture view. So we can use such tools to do our better investigation and you can say analytics on it. Okay, so I hope you understand why we should think about the investigation and how important it is. Now let's see the demonstration, how we can do this investigation from the different tools. Okay, let's see how we are going to investigate the alerts, uh, which is generated by the DLP policy. Uh, but before investigating the alerts, let's summarize how exactly we can identify what policy uh, is being implemented, not a DLP policy, means how exactly this Microsoft Poview is classifying their data, how it is identifying the sensitive data, just to recall that point, and then we'll explore the uh, alert and investigation. So right now, as you can see, we logged in on uh, Microsoft Poview as a compliance administrator, and we are inside the data classification. And there you will find something called Content Explorer. As you know, these all are SIT. 
And if I have to find all the sensitive data as per this uh, listed SIT, we just need to pick that one. It will automatically tell you from which location it has detected what. And if I'll go inside that, we will have clear visibility what kind of file contains those sensitive information. So at this place, you can see all these informations are listing like this, and we have this detail view. We can have clear visibility what exactly it is finding. We can also explore this contextual summary and the details. We do have Activity Explorer. If I go to this Activity Explorer, any activity which is being taken place or any policy is affecting that, you will have the clear visibility. For example, you can see we can filter it out from the activity legs like archive created or DLP rule masked or maybe file copy to the network shared. So accordingly, we can list it out. Uh, as per the location also, if I'm looking for any activity has been taken place in a OneDrive or the SharePoint or the Exchange that we can also pick it out from here. If I scroll it down, as you can see, we have this detail activity explorer. As per your filtering selection, it will list you all the details. Now we can just click on that to get the detail information and we can explore and find where exactly happened, what action or policy has been applied, what rule got detected and everything. Uh, there is an up arrow and down arrow. With the help of this, you can move to the next activity directly from here instead of closing and going back. Okay. So now we will go and explore how exactly the DLP generates alerts whenever it detects something is matching this policy. So if I'll go inside the data loss prevention, we are uh, here we are getting something called alerts. Inside the alert section, as you can see, we are getting information, the alert name like DLP policy matches for email with the subject, press release to review. And it comes with the severity, status, and time detected. If I have to take detail we just need to click on that and here we will see all the detail information related to that now we also get this view detail more than this information we just need to click at this place and now it will take you inside the detail alert view at this place you can see we are inside that particular alert and we are getting more detailed information what happened the name and the actor details here we got this complete actor detail, what sensitive info type got detected, what rule got masked, policy masked, everything. And we also have this option where we can assign this alert to a particular SOC team member that to further do investigation and uh, finalize, identify the root cause as well. Now, along with this information, we are getting this events that tells you that what event took place and their detail view what exactly happened at this place, we will have related to that event. Now, apart from this portal and the way of exploring this information inside the Microsoft Poo we can integrate it with uh, Defender XDR. So as you can see right now, we logged in on security.microsoft.com. It's a Microsoft Defender uh, portal. If I'll go inside that incidents and alerts, we have alert section, if I'll go to alert section, there we are finding all the alerts. You just need to filter it out as per, uh, you can say sources. And here in this case, we have selected Microsoft Defender for Cloud App. So we do get this filtering option from the filtering, you can do it. In our case, as I mentioned, it is uh, selected by default Microsoft Defender uh, for Cloud App and DLP. So as you can see, all these policies are coming at this place. Now, if I have to investigate in detail, so we are getting this option to click and there we will have clear visibility. Again, attack a story, what happened, the policies, all this visibility you have. If I scroll it down, we are getting again alert details, what technique has been used and everything. So there we have alert policy as well and all the detail related to this, we can explore and do investigation directly from Defender XDR. Now, if I'll go to hunting, uh, because when it comes to this place, this is something reactive uh, approach of protecting your resources. If something happens, then only you'll get to know. But we are getting something called advanced hunting. It's proactive protection. And under this advanced hunting, we can go and create a new hunting. Either we can go with the editor where we can start writing our query in a text, or we can go with the query builder that is more like a declarative approach to find the uh, you can say re information so at this place you can see we have event type if i'll go inside it there we can specify what event you are looking for so i said okay dlp rule match event i'm looking for 
and you can see here we have any application any location device name if you want to be more specific you can just filter it out as per your requirement now you can decide how long uh, how long back data you want to explore at this place so let's go and explore for last 30 days and then we are going to run this query once you will execute this query if it finds something we'll let you know so let's go and scroll it down and there you can see it has detected something related to this uh, DLP, which is uh, getting integrated with the cloud app. So we got this cloud app events. If I'll go to this place, there again, we got the complete detail information, what exactly it is finding. You will have the clear visibility at this place. Now, as I mentioned, this is not just getting integrated uh, with, uh, you can say, XDR. We do have also Sentinel. There we can integrate this DLP alerts. So to get it integrated, first we need to create their data connector. If I'll go to that place, we can search for Microsoft Defender. As this Defender service includes multiple, Defender XDR includes multiple Defender services. Here, you can see you have uh, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Microsoft Defender for Identity, and so on. Uh, here you can see, once you came inside this Microsoft 365 Defender, we have all these, uh, you can say, services getting integrated. And mainly you have to check, is, does it uh, fetch the information from cloud apps or not? Now we can see at this place, we will go inside this and make sure cloud app events are checked because this is going to collect your DLP, poll, uh, DLP alerts. So as you can see in our scenario, this is already selected. Now we can close it. Let's go back. And there we have an incident section. So if I'll click on the incident under this threat management of Sentinel, here we will get all these DLP policy incidents coming to this place. Now, if I click at this place here, we are getting the overview of it. Uh, we can assign it to the particular uh, SOC team engineer. And there we have full detail. If I'll go to that place, we have the clear visibility, visibility with the timelines, similar incidents, alerts, bookmarks, entities, comments, anything that we can explore from here. Apart from that, if you can see, we are we are getting uh, action button. What action you would like to take on this particular incident, we can decide from here. Either we can create a team and let's start discussion on it, or maybe we can create one automation rule so automatically the action can be taken. Or if we know we already have some dedicated playbook which can perform the actions, recommended action or planned action on it that we are going to pick accordingly. Apart from that, we have investigate section. So if I click on this investigate, it will take you in detail. Uh, you can see graphical view where we can easily identify what entities are in for, involved into it and what are their exact information we can fetch. So here, if you can see, we have this DLP policy. If I click here, I'm getting this complete detail. There we can see the user was involved into it. And if I have to fetch the detail, we will click here. Now I can see the complete full detail of the user. In fact, all the entity which is associated with this incident. So this is how we can explore the alerts, basically how we can investigate the alert which is being generated by the DLP policy. Okay, so I hope you got an idea how important this DLP policy, I mean alert investigation is and how we can do that. So thank you so much for watching and see you in next.